Hi gang. Hi. 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 So 25 minutes, five people. It's a very high <laughs> tension scenario, but I'll try to be cool. Uh, I'll start with the women on the panel. Uh, nice. Since all three of you are non-native Telugu speakers, and I was watching an interview of Parvati from a couple of months back, where she she was talking about Duta indirectly, uh, and she was saying that one of the most exciting parts of being uh, uh, one of the most exciting aspects of being a part of this project was that. It's a language that she is not at all familiar with. Why do you have to say that indirectly? Because it wasn't, yeah, was no, it wasn't announced officially. It wasn't announced so, yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, to quote her, she said the oh, process yeah. was, uh, <laughs> I'm, oh, no. I'm <laughs> failing every quotes, single yeah. day and it is so much fun. Yeah. Okay. So all three of you, I know she called it fun, but it can be frustrating also, right? So can you talk to me about the process of, you know, cracking the language and <laughs> acting at the same time? Frustrating maybe to the director. <laughs> but it was such a learning experience for me. As she said, I thoroughly enjoyed the process. To, to learn something new, to especially to learn a new language. Uh, and, uh, you know, get to say the dialogues in a language that you don't speak, that you're not very used to. I, I really enjoyed uh, making mistakes mm -hmm. and um, correcting my mistakes, of course. Yes, that's, that's a very beautiful growing process and I, I can understand what she meant saying that. Okay. Prachi, Pavati. Uh, I truly just felt like a child, you know, who maybe there's sports day and there are hurdles there and you're just really scared. You're not taking the leap or making an attempt. But everyone knows that once you just give it a shot, it's going to be great. And mm. um, no matter what the outcome, it's just going to be worth the experience. Um, same for like you know like like maybe bungee jumping or maybe skydiving you know it's you just fear it but um, you know people know that it's going to be worth the experience I think same for me all these years I was kind of scared uh, because I, I do not know the language but uh, I think giving it a shot in this one particularly I think it's been an absolute dream lovely yeah. party uh, as the original quoter in this <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what I meant is um, so over a decade of acting in different languages and then you kind of master other languages that are not your native ones, I found myself really scared, um, not in a way that it uh, deterred me from the goal of it, but every day in the vanity I had these tiny little spurts of panic attacks like, okay, because you know, at this age you're not as quick to learn yeah. things yeah. and grasp things and yeah. buy hard things and yeah. I'm like why didn't I work on my buy hearting skills and those things what what other workshops and things can I do to you know you know sort of sharpen that angle of it but then when the part that I said about the fun is that there is a safety net you know you see the trapeze artists and all taking the deep dive they know that there is a solid net to catch you there that's the trust with which you sort of you know flung yourself out out there to take the risk and I had that solid net you know in this entire team to catch me there and never shaming you never doing oh my god that yeah, you know no, all no. of that mm -hmm. which can you know you have to be a child on set I mean you are the most vulnerable I mean there are enough people vulnerable there but you're the ones whose face is out there you it's almost like be, being without skin you're so soft you have to be soft in order to respond and react and be out there and that is truly the investment too, like you know, you give it all and then you have a lifetime of experience to take back home. And that trust I had 110%, even if I felt extremely weak, vulnerable, I didn't trust myself. This guy, like, I, 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 like, I think Priya, you said this, like every time he would just be behind the camera, behind the monitor, not bothered about the number of mistakes we were making. Like we need more people who let us make mistakes. Frankly, did you guys go for sync? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, He's smart. I mean, there was too much rain actually on the show. Exactly. So yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Even if you exactly. wanted to, exactly. this one wasn't going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I love that how three of you processed it differently, mm -hmm. and this is something new for both Che and Vikram sir as well. That you know, stepping into the, the digital uh, world. Right. I'll start with Vikram sir, and then I have a question for you. Uh, Vikram sir, uh, you have you have been writing feature films, right? You have been writing feature films. You, I'm sure you must be familiar with 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 that format, like say a three act structure or a five act structure. But the grammar, the writing grammar of a show, a limited series is completely different. You have to, you know, create those cliffhangers at the end of the each episode. It's not just writing a lot of material and 
splitting into different episodes but it's it's it each episode is a entity of its own right yeah. how did you crack the writing process of duta um i honestly i had this idea a while back and then the biggest fear for me was is this going to stretch for eight episodes because this idea has been in my mind it could have gone either way it could have gone as a feature or it could have come this side and at that time when we were discussing and at that time when amazon had got in touch with us and all that so i was thinking about a show and this was a genre that i wanted to get back into and so i picked this idea but i had a fear that it might not it might not stretch because uh, that's the biggest fear now and but it just it just flew on its own i think some stories writes itself i there i am a strong believer in that and i think this story just just wrote itself it just came out on its own and the speed in which i wrote it was also like really shocking for me and i'm a lazy writer i take a lot of time writing how long But how long did you take to this on the first draft i wrote in 6 days Oh, wow. oh yes eight episodes yeah <laughs> wow in 6 days yeah yeah wow, and i know the room i i blogged wow. with this some was to that that <laughs> 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 did some wonders that i keep telling it all the people that is the room i need to write <laughs> so of that course. yeah so it, it just happened on its own honestly mm, then what about tailoring the structure i mean the, like we said the cliffhanger at the end of the each episode those what, what did they come organically in, into it, the story it honestly it did because it was uh, I mean in when you're writing this format you have to have those cliffhangers for you to pull them out of the yeah. episode. And when I was writing it it just organically it just came it just came on its own that's what I think some see some story writes itself here. Yeah. I have to say yeah. this I just remembered most of the times he'll come to me and he'll tell Pranthi Shanai my character who's the investigator here who will be like you know then she sees this and she sees that and then you know that's when she realizes and I'm like oh that's so smart oh you know and then I'm like Oh, you wrote this. <laughs> it was just in your head because I truly just believed it. You know, after a while, even though I've read and I know that this is acting and all of that, you're still in awe of the storytelling, right? So you're like also audience as you're listening to it, hmm. and then you suddenly realize this person who's explaining to you is the one who actually made it. And I don't think you realize how how inspiring it is for people to actually just fall in love with their storytelling so much that. there's no bounds to their imagination hmm che and what was your first reaction when he pitched it to you what did i feel when he first narrated it to me like i remember the first episode he just told me one episode and i was blown away like i i went into the narration because uh, it was a supernatural thriller uh, a character that's not my comfort zone i was went in like 50 50 honestly hmm. and hmm. ott and you know so many new factors to it so i'm like okay it's vikram you know i'm sure it'll be great but i don't know if it'll work for me uh, when he told me the premise but after i went into the narration i was blown away and i remember i, I slept over it that night and i called him the next day and said i am doing this i want to do this because uh, it 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 felt like a calling for me it felt like it's it's about time i come out of my comfort zone and mm. push myself and you know try this out give myself this healthy challenge so that's the, and and from there uh, you know it all just fell into place uh, so smoothly and yeah today here we are one question when you said it's vikram it might be great but i might not be uh, yeah. perfect for it what what was no because i know vikram's style of filmmaking and yeah. i know how he tells a story and how excited he is and he, uh, when i meant i might not be yeah. right for it i see i i've not seen myself in a supernatural thriller before right. you know i've not seen myself in this texture of uh filmmaking or a uh, web series uh, mm. so that's where you know i was sort of there was a question mark in my head mm-hmm. like will i be able to pull this off no and all that yeah it was more a personal sort of a question mark yeah. okay my follow up question to you would be it's not for the performer but for the star who has to you know take care of his this is fandom yeah, and all those yeah. things see we are an extremely money driven market right. right they say that you know uh, a star or anyone is as good as their last friday right. so and uh, you know whatever the, you know the star power and all the noise like that it's a derivative of the box office numbers but when you make yourself more accessible uh, to the viewer like with say something uh, with a with a web series or you have even uh, opened your uh, you know youtube channel more yeah, recently yeah. right i want to ask you uh, don't you like hesitate making yourself more accessible see i think uh, you know when we do uh, when we do work for the theater and when a producer is putting us uh, putting in a certain budget for your film 
I think we need to respect that when the audience is coming for such kind of cinema to the theatre, they're coming for a certain kind of entertainment. Yeah. And we should not uh, try and fool them by giving them something else. Mm. I think that's when we'll be fail. Uh, that's when we'll fail. We need to be very clear as to who our target audience is. Mm. Now, when I'm doing cinema for the theatre and the producers putting in a certain X amount of budget, I have to be a certain kind of actor over there. But I also have this side in me that's an alter ego that I want to try so many other things, break the structure and do it. But I need to be clever as to where I can do it. Right. I can't go do that in, in the theatre. I'll fail. Or at least I don't have, I'm not brave enough to do it as yet. So for me, a medium like this, like an OTT platform, is a great space because I feel when the audience is consuming content over here, you're sitting at home, you're in a very neutral space, Not you've not paid thousands of rupees, you've not taken out time to go to the theatre, put in that effort and all that. You know, over here you're in your comfort zone at your home. So they're open to it, you know, mm -hmm. they're open to trying trying something new. But having said that, there is also so much content over here where it's so easy to flip it's the an channel. Ocean. Yeah. yeah, so I, it's, it's, it's like a catch-22. We need to keep them engaged as well. But at the same time, we have that freedom to really, you know, push the boundaries and try something that we can't try there. This is my personal opinion and my personal approach. Every actor might be different, but yeah. Okay. Again, uh, to the actors, I'm sure when you're acti acting in your respective languages in, in feature films, you know that the acting, uh, you know, the, the, the set of actors, I'm sure there will be regular faces. Like, you're, uh, like if you take Telugu, you know that there will be a set of supporting actors, be it in Malayalam also, in Hindi or in, in Tamil. So we know that these people will be in a film. But when you come out of that zone and something like Duta, that, that, that's, a, that's a completely different ecosystem of actors consisting of different people, how does it help your performance as, as actors when you are surrounded by different actors, not just the actors that you regularly work with? All actors. Actually, for me, because this was the first uh, Telugu project for me, it, there was no regulars that yeah. I would work with or have even seen. Uh, so for me, it felt like I could take a punt on this imagination that they're all doing it for the first time. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, let's come, let's crack this. You know, that's just me playing that in my head so that I don't lose my mind. But um, frankly, I feel like they come with such um, treasure of experience that I see how they gel so easily into this new actor who does not know the language. Be it the different characters like the pol other police officers who played my mother. Um, their response to how I presented myself was just, you know, it, it is uncanny how the similarity with, with the supporting actors, the Chaitanya, the ones, Ch Chaitanya, Chaitanya especially, uh, I had another Chaitanya uh, who was constantly like with me. And I feel like it's very similar to what I've experienced in Malayalam, where the supporting actors are actually very supportive of the lead that has to take the story forward and they understand their place with in that. Um, and yeah, so I found that very similar here that I could actually draw, draw parallel to some of the brilliant, uh, I don't like to just call them support supporting actors there, but mostly they've done that. I've seen the same kind of synergy, I've found the same kind of um, passion with which they show up on set. And that felt like home for me. So I'm not one to speak because I'm new here, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. Prachi and Priya? Um, you know, I think to me, of course, it was a refreshing change. Uh, this set of actors for me was fresh. I mean, uh, just because it was my first uh, time working with them. Um, the one thing that I could possibly be uh, most, I think, worried about, again, uh, <laughs> language. Um, not once did they make me feel uh, conscious or awkward or um, anything because to be honest um, that was a very big load I was carrying uh, you know having never done anything mm. in this language and um, truly the thing is that uh, in a scene uh, when it comes to your reactions you can still do I mean you can freely do what where you're coming from or, what, or where the director is coming from but when you don't know the language you're just by default, you know, just uh, the sheer nature of what it is, your attention is only towards the lines the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe 
something you know falls right behind my head in the scene but i'm still thinking of that <laughs> line that i'm supposed to say next you know uh, that's just how it is but but this set of uh, actors it was so beautiful because not once did anybody flinch in the scene you know at the back of your mind that oh my god i think i said something wrong but they just carry on they give, they give you their response they just continue acting and that speaks a lot about um, the people present there you know just why they are there they are there because of their um, professionalism they are there because of their love for this art you know and in their craft i think they've seen enough that uh, there are so many people who come and you know uh, try this out and possibly like chair said you know for him hindi is of course not his uh, native language so for mm -hmm. him he also had to work hard um, in terms of that and i really respect that about each one and um, i think vikram now makes it seem very easy to me that oh i can give this another attempt yeah. and these are very celebrated actors i'm talking about you know mm -hmm. i mean they're all stars here and um, yet for them to make me feel that comfortable i think that speaks a lot about uh, all of them as actors and people you too so for me uh, I, i i always say this that my performance is only as good as the actors the in front end, of me yeah. you know or the director because i just take so much of them like their energy means a lot to me and over here i think you know every single actor that i've shared screen space with has just given me such wonderful energy that it's complemented my performance in so many ways and i'm just not simply saying this uh, you know uh i think um, many films where my performance has been uh, uh talked about or complimented or where i've gotten compliments for i would totally give credit to my director and my actors that i share screen space with uh and and it's happened over here i i you know all of them you keep talking about them not knowing the language but the amount of effort they put in like uh i still remember parvati when she was learning her lines she was uh, focusing on the sound of the telugu word to memorize it i i sort of caught that and that blew my mind like the process uh that you know her approach or uh, if you uh, look at prachi like she keeps saying like she's she's making fun of her telugu but trust me you know she was like i could have a conversation with her a proper wow. conversation with her that's how much importance she gave her lines and i remember not to joke but uh, vikram changes <laughs> like the lines oh my god <laughs> the, he the whole time and she would just get a fresh set of lines <laughs> like just <laughs> before the scene but every day she would catch it and uh, priya you know priya i didn't uh, i honestly thought she knew telugu because uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah, how yeah, she spoke yeah it was I mean the pilot track that we had yeah. I mean everyone thought she was a Telugu girl. So the editor thought she was a Telugu girl. Wow. And we all thought I mean she spoke it perfectly. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes you know you're acting with uh, actors that don't speak the language and usually just like uh, miming or something like that and my performance gets affected you know terribly and uh, but over here it was it was just so wonderful and I and I think I learned from each and every one of them. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Yes. Um, as everybody said, when it comes to the performances, I would always, always, always give the credits to the director. The director brings out the best in you, and even the best of best actors, they have flunked because of bad directors. So I think it's the director who brings out the performance. But as uh, somebody who doesn't speak the native language. it's always comfortable when you work in your it's like walking yeah, yeah. to your home how much ever drunk you are or how much ever <laughs> lost you are you can you you reach your home yeah but you become very conscious and you are uh, super alert when you are in a new place you, you don't put that kind of effort while walking home so i think that's the kind of alertness and effort that we bring in when we Uh, work in a different uh, language. I love thing. this analogy. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it was like uh, that. That's the same for me. I I don't think I would uh, sit with my scene paper for a Tamil film the previous evening. Maybe on the uh, in the vanity, but here I make sure I get my lines from Vikram the previous evening. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't make sense for him because he changes it last minute. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll even I work with the sound. I I take my lines in a very Okay, this is how I'm going to present the dialogue. I, I'll be all fixed. 
and director will be like, ah, okay, ma, let's do this. Like, why did you change? Now I have to retune the song in my head. <laughs> so he he surprises us there. But yes, that's the process. And um, if if you think I've done a decent job or a good job, I think the credits is to the director and to every single person who has uh, you know made me react with their action right in front of me. So it's the co-stars and uh, the director. See, I, I would like to say something. I wouldn't. Uh, like change the lines if I didn't have them. I know oh, they would do it. Oh, if I, knew, <laughs> I swear, if I knew they were going to fall in the lines, if they're ready, I know. Like I know, I know I, I, it is. It is true. I have to say, if if I had actors who I knew, but they want day two that they're not able to do it, then I would back out. I would back out. I say I would rather they they prepped enough. Okay, let's go. Let's go. But with them. When I get, they, 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 they came by and they, they nailed it. So I'm confused I about this me. compliment. I, I feel like, <laughs> like either way, they're going to be wrong. Let's just change it. I'm just telling you to all the actors who eventually work with Vikram. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fantastic, but just know that this is how he ropes you in <laughs> and he will change the lines. I mean, there is full faith why he changes something. There is, in, there is an important uh, aspect to it, but then he also does handhold you through it. Yeah. yeah. There's so many like, like factual things, you know, I mean about dates and about uh, things that happened and the kind of things that you can or cannot say. And when those things change, you know, there's no arguing. Mm. It is a fact. This yeah. is what you're going to say. So this is what you have to but say. I, I would like to believe what Prachi said. Okay, anyway, they're going <laughs> to message and let me, let me contribute from my <laughs> Let them at least have a reason to mess it up now. Yeah. Um, Super. Coming back to you, sir. So I've been, uh, I'm a fan actually. I've, I've, I loved everything that you made. Uh, even thank you. I've told say this. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, there is, think. there is this, there is this magic in your films that you know in the story. There is that something that goes beyond the normality of life. You take uh, Yavaram Nalam. It's, it's about something supernatural is happening there. Uh, you take Manam. It's all about destiny. The coincidence again. Hello. Again, once again about destiny. Uh, you take even thank you. You are giving you are giving uh, you know a shape to this man's concerns, right? Yeah. So there is always this magic in your films that goes beyond normality. What is that fascination? So I think it is from. I think I'm I'm really excited by what if. Hmm. What if this happens? Then how will the story go? What if this happens? I think. That for me is a huge driving force in my writing. I, I like to okay. What if this happens? What if? So that that plus one comes from that extra thing comes from that what if primarily. Yeah. Is is that what if the starting point for most of your scripts? No, it 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 starts from somewhere else. Hmm. But I will come with a what if inside when there is okay. when I'm ten percent twenty percent into the story, I have to bring in something. Otherwise, I don't know. I, it, it it comes naturally. It, that's what I'm excited by. Uh, probably that's the reason why I look for it in, in those stories. Let me, let me Priya's just, dying to say yes, something. Yes, I have something to dying. say. So you have this um, judgmental attitude about him, right? Like, I, I mean, I mean I, maybe judgmental would be a very strong word, but <laughs> you have a... <laughs> okay, so Vikram Kumar does this kind of... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, that's it's, his it's a brand of sorts. Yeah, so yeah. you have that, right? Hmm. Even I have the same towards him. Hmm. So I used to call him and ask, uh, what show shall I watch or what do I watch? A quick, uh, Just suggest me something quick or something. So he used to suggest me or refer me to certain shows. I, I really liked a couple of shows that he, uh, you, you know, hmm. suggested me. And one day I called him and he, you should watch this particular show, he said. I started watching, so I always had this, okay, so Vikram Kumar has, uh, you know, referred this show. There's going to be some kind of twist and turn to it. There's going to be something creepy about it. Something will happen. I was, shit, I was sitting through the show. It was four episodes, six episodes. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. It was, it was just that. <laughs> some, <laughs> you were messing with her. No, no, I no, truly love that show. He genuinely loved it. Looks like he genuinely loved the show. Netflix made 
Yeah. गैंग लीडर दट श्रावणी इज द डॉग एंड यू नो दिस मैन पेंसिल पार्दी was avenging her death as well it's yes. an amazing payoff how do you come up with these setups and payoffs and what's what's your process of creating a banger of a payoff and setup setting up a payoff is is a tool that almost all writers use yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone i want does. to know your process i uh, it see it has to organically come within the the narrative so mm. but i do look for it i do look for it i do set it up caught I make an effort to take it there, set it up, and then pull out the payoff later. Mm. But but I personally enjoy it. I enjoy the when like when you told me when you that said rewarding that, moment. Yeah, yeah, not not too many people noticed it. Yeah. See, that is a a tragedy as well. But I love putting it there. If you guys get it, get it. If you don't get it, don't get it. But sometimes it pays. Off. I like people when they come and say, "Come, I I really like that what you put it there." When you said that, that gives that's, that's primarily the thing. That's what I was expecting yeah. from the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that twist. Final question to both of you guys. Yeah. See, like I said, I really like thank you, but it, it's a no, it's a film that didn't work. Yeah. But when something like that doesn't work, how do you guys, you know, uh, retain the trust in each other's storytelling or you know creativity and move forward with confidence? See, I I feel you know what's going to work, what's not going to work. That's not in our hands. Uh, for me personally, it's the journey. Hmm. You know, I think every film you go through a journey. Um, their relationships that are formed and uh, with vikram i have gone through a, you know we've been through yeah, a journey yeah, with yeah. in in manam before and there is a certain trust that i formed with uh, manam uh, and also off 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 the shoot locations we've spent so much time together so just because one film doesn't work uh, my trust is not going to break mm-hmm. uh, it's because i i for me what the the journey with him on making the film that process is what i enjoy way more than the success and the failure of the film mm-hmm. of course if we wanted to succeed and 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 that's that's that that's a bonus but when when i have this time with uh you know with a filmmaker and i learn and and that journey i enjoy for me that that's enough that trust is all i look for that's that's lovely guys thank you so much for your time all the very best for duta looking forward to watching it thank, thank you, you. So thank, you so thank you so much thank you so much